Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My brothers and sisters, today we are celebrating the memorial of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of the Church. Pope Francis decreed that the feast of the Mother of the Church should be celebrated the Monday after the Pentecost. And today, as we celebrate the feast of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of Church, let us realize she is our mother, every time interceding for us through our Son, Jesus Christ, and obtaining for us all the blessings that we need for our life. And today, as we celebrate the memorial of Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of Church, let us prepare ourselves worthily by accepting our sinfulness and asking the Lord pardon and forgiveness for all our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, O Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord God, that we, your servants, may rejoice in unfailing health of mind and body, and through the glorious intercession of Blessed Mary, our Virgin, the Mother of the Church, may we be set free from present sorrow and come to enjoy eternal happiness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. God comforts us so that we may be able to comfort those who are in any affliction. First reading, a reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians, chapter 1, verses 1 to 7. From Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus, by the will of God, and Timothy our brother, to the church of God, which is at Corinth, with all the saints who are in the whole of Achaia. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our affliction, so that we may be able to comfort those who are in any affliction with the comfort with which we ourselves are comforted by God. For as we share abundantly in Christ's sufferings, so through Christ will share abundantly in comfort too. If we are afflicted, it is for your comfort and salvation. And if we are comforted, it is for your comfort, which you experience when you patiently endure the same sufferings that we suffer. 
Our hope for you is unshaken, for we know that as you share in our sufferings, you will also share in our comfort. The word of the Lord. Your response, taste and see that the Lord is good. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise always on my lips. In the Lord, my soul shall make its boast. The humble shall hear and be glad. Your response, taste and see that the Lord is good. Glorify the Lord with me. Together, let us praise his name. I shout the Lord and he answered me. From all my terrors, he set me free. Your response. Look towards him and be radiant. Let your faces not be abashed. This poor man called, the Lord heard him and rescued him from all his distress. Your response. You see, the Lord is good. The angel of the Lord is encamped around those who revere him to rescue them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. He is happy who seeks refuge in him. Your response. Please stand for the gospel acclamation. The Lord is faithful in all his words and loving in all his deeds. Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Matthew. Glory to you. Chapter 5, verses 1 to 12. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain. After he sat down, his disciples came to him. Then he began to speak and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for this is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for this is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. For in the same way they persecuted the purple prophets who are before you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of the Gospel wipe away our sins. My brothers and sisters, in the first reading today, from the second letter to the Corinthians, the Word of God tells us that every bitter experience, every suffer, suffering, Every problem, every sickness that we experience, it is all for our good. It may be painful in, initially, but as children of God, with this experience, 
we can comfort others we can comfort others we can encourage others we understand when we ourselves experience this pain and suffering we understand the suffering and pain of others and thereby we are able to comfort them and we are in a position to comfort them and that is the reason why we should not get saddened when we have such kind of bitter experiences because this is an opportunity god has given to her to give us an experience in order to help others and comfort others in their difficulties and problems and sufferings in the gospel today jesus once again enumerates us the beautiful qualities of our children of god the followers of jesus christ we should have the qualities of the beatitudes in our day to day life so that we may become blessed we should have the the spirit of poverty in us we should always detach ourselves from all kinds of holiness and attach ourselves to jesus christ and we all the say the same time should have the same mercy kindness and compassion to people around us because god shows so much of mercy kindness and compassion to us he helps us in our needs we need to help others in their needs and when we are persecuted when you are spoken ill of us we have, it is becomes bitter for us but at the same time the lord says blessed are you because your reward will be great and today as we offer this holy eucharist realizing how important this virtues of the beatitudes let's once again offer ourselves at the feet of the lord asking the lord to give us the grace to inherit these qualities deep down within us so that manifesting these qualities in our day to day life we may become blessed in the sight of god brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to god the almighty father may the humanity of your only begotten son come o lord to our aid may he who at the birth of from the blessed virgin mary did not diminish but consecrate our integrity by taking from her now our wickedness deeds so that we may live a holy and blameless life make our oblation acceptable to you o lord through christ our lord amen the lord be with you lift up your hearts Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints and especially as we celebrate the the blessed virgin Mary's motherhood to proclaim your kindness as we echo our thankful praise. 
For truly, even to the earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on your, on the loveliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with this in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of us, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dear fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At that time he was betrayed, and he entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Bala, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servants, K.K. Joseph, Mary Joseph, Mr. and Mrs. Rajaya, Jacob Xavier, Raja Xavier, Israel Das, Anthony Amma, souls in purgatory, whom you are called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who are united with your son in death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, especially all those who have died in our own families and in our parish, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Anthony of Padua, and with all the saints who are pleased to you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-haste with eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command found by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and ever the year of all. Lord Jesus Christ, who set your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. To live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Blessed is the womb of the Virgin Mary, which bore the Son of the Eternal Father. 
let us pray as we receive this heavenly sacrament we beseech o lord your mercy that we will rejoice in commemorating commemorating the blessed virgin mary the mother of the church may be imitating her so worthily the mystery of our redemption through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and may the blessing of the almighty god the father the son and the holy spirit come upon you and remain with you forever go in peace to love and serve the lord thanks be to god